guys you have to excuse this i'm in the middle of doing another video where i'm showing you how i'm detangling my hair <sighs> so this is a chit chat video i know how we do this i talk about what's going on in my personal life what i'm watching on youtube and what i'm watching on tv so girl i mentioned in my last hair related video um in the voiceover that my hair is matted i have not detangled my hair in close to four months um, I was putting it off, putting it off, put it, putting it off because you guys, I haven't been taking care of me and I hate to do that. And I feel guilty about it because I'm always the one that's preaching self love, self care, put yourself first. It's not selfish. If you don't take care of yourself, how can you take care of other people? So my life has been overall transactional because we move from why in phoenix we move we moved to an apartment and then we moved cross state here and we did all of that in like six or seven months we moved and did all that we moved to move stuff into a storage unit so yeah it was so the last thing i have time to do is detangle my hair for two hours um i wanted miss arlette to do my hair one time but she ended up going to canada for a while um yeah she gotta work you know what i mean so my hair ended up really matted and i have a lot of shitted hair i've only detangled a little section and i have this much coming out so far so it is what it is so you guys this is technically look at that look at that look at that it is technically our second week here in dallas texas y'all i'm so excited but it's been a challenge it really has been a challenge um, we love our house. We love it. Um, ooh, something's hard. Do y'all get that? I get like hard pieces. <sighs> anyway, we love our house. Um, it's a little bit big, a little bit bigger than our previous house. Y'all have to excuse my husband in the background. He has allergies, girl. It is what it is. And so... The traffic is interesting. I know my girlfriend had warned me about the traffic, but you know what it is, you guys? You have to go out. You have to be smart when you're traveling and getting out in this area because even though Forney is a small, smaller part of Dallas and this doesn't have a lot of people, it has grown a lot over the course of the past two years. Hell, over the course of, of the past year, it has really grown a lot. Um, I'm really surprised. And so the infrastructure meaning the infrastructure of the city cannot handle the population increase, the population growth so fast. So things like going to the store, if you don't go to the store, baby, by three o'clock, there ain't gonna be no chicken. There's not gonna be any eggs, no milk. Like seriously, it is absolutely, there will be some stuff there, but it may not be what you want. And so that's something that we learned. <laughs> Honey, don't mess with our food. We learned that pretty quick. And so, um, but to me, that's first world, that's first world problems. There's still milk. It may not be the organic 2% that you used to drink in, but there's 1% Kroger brand. You know what I mean? So we just have to make it work out. Um, what else? JV started school, baby. Y'all. So he started school and within the second day, he said, mama, these kids are bad. I'm like, what's going on, baby? So what has happened is that in Farnie, you can live way on the south side and go to school in our area and it's okay. So what has happened due to the increase in the, in the population, they had to build two new schools, two new elementary schools. And they're already at capacity, full capacity. One of the teachers was telling me this yesterday. So when we got there, I noticed, I was looking at all the kids and all the cute little brown kids. And I'm like, wait a minute. I know all these kids don't live in our neighborhood. Where the hell are these kids coming from? I was loving it, but I'm like, where are these kids coming from? So another father in the neighborhood told me, and mind you guys, this our neighborhood is mixed. It's primarily white, but there are black families, which we love. And so I asked another father, I'm like, yeah what's going on with the school he said oh <laughs> he said well um when that school first got built built all the kids in the other areas the south side areas um they started busting their kids over here so then the people that live in our area started pulling their kids out and going to the other schools so you guys you know i love that jb gets to be around kids that look like him um 
but it's just a different social economic status okay um i think one of the fathers told me that a lot of the the area there's a lot of section eight which you know it is what it is but my thing is is that jay said that the teacher is forever trying to get these kids to quiet down and behave um they're not listening and he said that it's gotten to a point to where he can't even concentrate in the classroom i'm like oh my god so i go pick him up and all i see or nothing wrong with it because look i wore a, sc a scarf when i go pick him up i wore a cute little scarf but we see bonnets and flip-flops and slippers that's so that's the demographic <laughs> so we're gonna end up moving him august he just has a few more months there and we're going to end up moving him in August. But I was really shocked by that, that basically there's no saying, oh, you don't live within five miles radius. You can't go to the school. Yeah, you can. You can come all the way from where you live at to come to, come to our school. So a lot of younger parents, nothing wrong with being young and being a parent. But sometimes these younger parents don't have the same type of mindset as we do because we don't even see like homework because i guess they changed some stuff because they're like these kids don't even want to listen to us why are they going to do homework kids are so resilient though y'all so that's what's going on we'll end up moving him to another school it it'll be just a couple of more months what school is out what may he'll be okay by then but ciao it is what it is so that's going on i get to go to east texas to meet my family because look when we first got here even before we got here my parents were sick with covid my mom got sick and we knew eventually it was spread around and sure enough my dad ended up getting sick then my sister ended up getting sick and so i hadn't seen them and so i'm excited we're gonna drive down to longview saturday early saturday and get here before dark oh because that's another thing this man um he's right behind me in the in the living room there's this is when i say this is a small town there are two lane roads a lot of them i know how to drive on two lane roads because i'm from the country even though longview is bigger than 40 so i'm used to driving on two lane girl not this man no nah, he don't know how to so even with that being said it's dark out here at night like really dark so if you don't know where you're going you can get lost and be going the wrong way so I definitely, when I do visit my family, I definitely want to make sure that I get back before it starts to get dark. Um, and I have driven out here while it was dark and then it was, it was confusing, but, and next week I'm going to start getting back into the routine of making me first and getting me together. I think that's so important, you guys. Um, and it can be overwhelming when you have fallen off of everything. When I mean to tell you, I've fallen off on everything. I say a quick little prayer and read one scripture. No, you need to spend time with God. Um, no exercising because we got rid of our treadmill. What my husband is ordering a treadmill soon. But hell, I could go outside and walk. We ain't doing that. Eating crappy. Um, just horrible. Uh, not even, I started to, I found my little planner. Because those of you who don't know, I like to do crafts and I have a happy planner in which I plan out my days and my weeks. Girl, I do a little to-do list, but I have my stickers I can get to get. So I guess what I'm saying is that every week I want to incorporate another thing that I'm used to doing and start getting back, focusing on me and making sure that Vivian is put together. Y'all, look how much my hair has grown. Do you see that? Yes. But anyway, focusing on me so that I could be a better wife, a better mother, a better sister, a better daughter, a better YouTuber. <laughs> you know what I mean? So this week I started back stretching in the morning. That's something I always do. Five minutes, do some yoga stretchings, make sure I stretch. I drink my water. Are y'all drinking your water? Are you um, doing some type of stretching or moving your body? Do something. And so next week, I'm going to incorporate more of my planning. You know, I'm going to go through with my yearly, I don't even do yearly goals. I do like three to five years goals. Let's just be real. So go over my little three to five year goals that I had put together back in 2020 and start getting all that together and making sure that I'm on track. Okay. Look, what is the weather like where you guys are at? Because baby, when I tell you it has been cold here one time last week it was 28 degrees 28 degrees cold so i'm walking around with um feet y'all remember the episode of martin where 
Y'all know what I'm about to say. The episode of Martin, Regina had to go work for Shanene and she was doing My Myra's feet. And Shanene was like, girl, oh my goodness, you got to go to work on Myra's feet. <laughs> and she bought like that big ass uh, drill buck or whatever. That's what my feet feel like. Like my feet are so rough because it's been cold and I haven't been scrubbing my feet and getting the... So stuff like that. I have little stuff I need to get back to doing, but one thing at a time, you know. Let's do my hair first. Let's start stretching. Um, get my prayers together. You know, make that a priority. And yeah. And so, um, y'all, this this section is giving me a hard time. I have been detangling my hair. I've only done this bit, and I've been doing it for almost thirty minutes. We're gonna be here all day. So that's the family updates. And I know I had a comment on my last video she wanted to know hi honey i know you're from the islands i have a lot of people from the islands that watch me she wanted to know you know how we are we got a job here girl no <laughs> i've been working from home before working from home was popular i have tons of videos on that so my husband is not working however he will be finding a he's in the middle of looking for a part of this is the this is the beast this hole right here sorry y'all He's in the middle of looking for a peer in or part-time job right now. And um, he's going to take his time because when I tell you, we did good on the sale of our house, baby. We did really. I'm not going to give you all the numbers, but basically it's our salary, what we would make in a year and more. So, yeah, we make six figures. So, yeah, we did really good. God is good. So, we don't have, he doesn't have to go out there and find a job right away there's no, there's no need for that so he's going to take his time and find something and plus you know with me still working and we get benefits and all that girl even though these benefits are trash but it is what it is i have benefits what's going on here so that was a long life update y'all i'm sorry i probably said a little bit too much so what i'm watching on youtube before we talk about youtube let's talk about a little bit about what's in the news and all this i think that is it is absolutely devastating. Did y'all hear about Regina King's son committing suicide like three days before his birthday? His 26th birthday? Is that what? It... <sighs> to lose your only child to a To lose a child in general to suicide and to even just lose a child, regardless of what, you know, how they die. To lose a child, I just... I've, I've known people who have lost children and they when I tell you they are not the same one person I knew um, And we'll get back to Regina King when I was working for um, UNT out here in Denton, Texas and I got transferred to a job and I actually found her on Facebook I didn't reconnect with her because I doubt that she would remember who I was but anyway The first week I was working there. She kind of got quiet and said she oh there was a picture of her daughter I'm like, oh is that your daughter? She's cute. She's like she kind of got a little frigid, the co-worker, and she's like, yes, that's my daughter. Um, She was murdered a couple of years ago. Her and her friend were murdered, and this was a big thing in Denton. They were at a lake, and her and her friend were murdered, and my co-worker stated that it, it took a toll on her so bad that she ended up in a mental institution for a couple of months. So when I tell you, I don't know anyone who has lost a child and is out here smiling and how do they make it so for Regina King to lose her only child to suicide right before his birthday is just so devastating. Make him want to stay. And, you know, I saw a comment and I'm going to, you know, clock my own tea. I saw a comment that someone said was basically like, you know, committing suicide, you know, is selfish. And um, someone else has said, you know, a lot of these kids are not as strong and they're they're you know they're weak let me tell you something none of us were kids in the middle of a pandemic if you if we're going through this as grown ass adults i couldn't imagine what and not to say he was a kid but he was a young adult a young adult and these younger kids so, I, so even my child jb was like he was having anxiety i'm like you ain't got no bills why you have anxiety? But then I had to really think about that. My baby was having anxiety. He was anxious. He is anxious, okay? Tasha K. I really don't even watch her. She's the one that drink y'all, be drinking all day. <laughs> Tasha K, I guess, well, fell out at court because the judge was like, yeah, you got to pay up. Look, 
that's it. She ain't bringing in, what was that, $1.5 million she has to pay to Cardi B? I had no idea she said all that about that girl. I'm Look, I'm not a fan of Cardi B, but the, at the end of the day, these people have families. These people have a personality. They are entertainers. So for you to slander and make all of these lewd remarks about her and her child and not think you ain't gonna... You can't do that, y'all. So... YouTubers better be, these gossip YouTubers better be careful. They have got to be careful because they can definitely come after you. And so, um, she better start making five or six videos a day <laughs> to, to pay her back. Lord have mercy, but that's crazy. Um, did y'all hear about those trigger, trigger warning? This has to do with rape and incest. Not necessarily incest, but children. Did y'all hear about those three boys here in Texas that killed their stepfather when they found out that he had messed with their uh, little sister? Look, I believe that there is no um, room in our society for pedophiles. And the fact of the matter is, if I remember correctly, did he already, he had a warrant out? Or he would already got in trouble for touching another little girl. We have got to get harsher sentences for these molesters and pedophiles. But we know why they won't do it. I'm going to be very frank. Because the ones that are in the court, some of them, not all, are in running the court system are pedophiles themselves. So why would they want to do harsher sentences? You know what I mean? So those boys, they're going to have to do some time. It's really sad. And I think I saw a little clip and one of them had his head down and he looked like he was about to start crying. <clears throat> to them, they were protecting their sister. All these people getting divorced as child. There was an, a yet another YouTuber. And look, I'm not making light of divorce because that could be just a devastating thing, especially if you have children involved. Um, all these folks getting divorces separation this is absolutely horrible and sad megan good honestly when it comes to megan good and her pastor husband i'm honest i hate to say this i'm not surprised i'm surprised it lasted this long though i know that's a bad thing to say but i'm not surprised i, I really am not you guys lisa bonet and the aquaman <laughs> i don't know his name with his fine self but he's the aquaman ain't he um and I still haven't seen that Netflix movie he's in. But they're getting divorced. How long were they married for? Eight years? I, mean, I am surprised by that. I am surprised. Now, what part are we going to go to to now, y'all? Okay, this part. Okay, hold on, y'all. And I watched a video from April B. Y'all remember April B? She started off, you know, showing her hair, you know, doing hair videos. Then she started doing, um, what do you call it? She started renovating pieces of furniture. And I got a lot of inspiration from her doing that. And then she bought a house and she started a home renovation. Renovation. It's been a couple of years. Has it been like two years when she bought a house? And she had her uncle helping her. And I just love the fact that a lot of it, she did it herself, y'all. She had a handsaw out there. And of course, she hired some contractors and people, who, you know, for people to do stuff. When I tell you this, this girl, I was, showing, I was even showing my husband some of her videos yesterday. And I'm like, wow. So she uploaded, I guess, her last video. Is that it for her, y'all? Child, look, this he was driving me crazy. I'm Look, the other, just yesterday, he's like, I got you something I know you've been wanting. And I'm thinking, oh, my God, he got me something. Because I didn't ask him for anything for my birthday, for Christmas, nothing. That's, I'm trying to be quiet. I'm like, oh, yeah, he got me something. Why did he walk in with some printer paper? I'm like, really? If you don't go sit your ass down, you will never be, you will never run out. Get your ass. Nothing else I'm watching on YouTube, you guys. Just random videos. Like I said, um, I, I'm still watching true crime. Like, JB hates it, but I love me some true crime, y'all. I absolutely love it. Still watching that. So what I'm watching on TV, finally had some time to watch some TV. 
Um, not a lot though, y'all, because like I said, I'm slowly, we're, we're busy. So watching the Ozarks, the O, oh, the Ozarks is back on Netflix. Spoiler alert, if you haven't seen it, baby, I was so confused, like the first episode, when they kept saying, um, the little boy was saying, well, you killed Ben. I'm like, who the hell is Ben? I forgot that Ben was the wife's brother. Again, spoiler alert. Um, and he had some mental issues and he ended up, excuse me, they ended up killing him and cremating his body. And she just had to ask herself, that mother to me, y'all, that mother, I cannot stand that character. I really can't stand her. Like, I would not be upset if, if the cartel did something to her. Like, I really wouldn't. She's a problem. She's selfish. She's bossy. I really don't like her. And the one uh, hick girl with the blonde hair, what is her name, y'all? Dar Darlene? Is her name Darlene? She's British. I was, it look, it is really hard to pull off a Southern accent or wherever the hell they from the Ozarks. It's really hard to pull. And she plays a white trash girl. <laughs> I'm keep looking up here, y'all. She plays that role good. Um, so yeah, Ozarks is back season four. I added onto my list um, the 100. Look, I am notorious for starting a series and just stopping because I get bored. I did that with The Wire. I did that with Fear of the Walking Dead and The Walking Dead. Um, oh, Breaking Bad. Like, seriously, if I get bored, I will stop watching it. Like, at the very end, I'll stop watching it because I, I really don't want to continue. So, I'm going to go back and I was on the last season of The 100 and I'm going to finish it. It started to get weird, too. I'm like, what? It's not funny, but it is. I did it and they deserved it. Um, yeah, so I'm going to end the video off with this. The reason why I'm in the situation I'm in now is because I got so busy with life, which we all do. There's no excuses. And I, I know I should not beat myself up about it, but I knew I had to detangle my dang on hair. And I just kept putting it to the side and putting other people and other people needs, even just like talk to, I befriended the girls at the apartment complex, even just going there talking to them. I could have been using that time to detangle, you know what I mean? So Put yourself first. It's not selfish. Um, Do something for yourself. There's nothing wrong with it. Okay, you guys? So that is it. I will be back with these hair videos when I get this in detangled, baby. So that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.